Hey. Oh, don't drop the probe. Um, step one. Step one. Do not, do not the drop the probe. Anyway. Uh, overview, anatomical over overview, and how to get the what you're trying to look at, and all that fun stuff. Amazing. So, let's begin. Lots of jelly. Probe. Position it. The bump up here corresponds to the green dot up there. You can see that. Green dot. Amazing. Let's dive in. Step one. Oh, amazing view. So, we're looking for anatomy. So, first things first, if we're trying to find the artery, we need to find the artery. And so, we can see just below the first green dot, the pulsating artery. So, we need to be able to identify an artery and a vein in two different methods. Okay. So, method one, when you first put your probe on, you'll see a vessel. Um, vessels are black in the middle because it's fluid. By compressing, you'll then see the pulsations of the artery. Okay. Now, right beside the artery is this other small circle that's quite compressible. That would be a vein. And we know um, our radial artery has two veins, one on either side. Mickey Mouse, if you will. And you can see. One is here compresses, the other one there, compresses. Okay, so that's how we can identify um, arteries and veins in two different methodologies. Okay, now another way is to use color. And we have a color button right here. The color uses Doppler shifting and it's trying to identify the flow of the fluid within the vessels. So first things first, you need to Ensure that the box, by using your mouse pad, your track pad, move it up so that your vessels are within the box. And so we can see the pulsations, and we see red and blue. Now, on the scale to the left, you'll see kind of go red down to blue. And that looks at directional flow towards the probe. So we can see that it kind of looks has both red and blue because of the way I'm holding the probe perpendicular. You need to be able to identify the flow of the fluid. And we can see blood flow through an artery because of the position of the probe is actually coming towards the artery. Or sorry, coming towards the probe itself. Okay? And then you can see the blue circles that kind of appear every so often as I apply pressure to the area. That's venous flow, flow that's going away from the probe. Now, if you angle it differently, you will then see flow looks like it's going away. And that's by using the color button. Okay, so that's two ways of identifying arteries and veins. To go back to the main view, it's the 2D view. Okay. Uh, another view you can use is the this is a sagittal view. You can use a longitudinal view, and that's by instead of going across the vessel, going along the vessel. Okay. And so you can see the big black artery, and by compressing, you'll see that you're actually right along the vessel. Now the purpose of this longitudinal view is for you to be able to identify if you've transected, because you'll see your vessel, and you'll see the needle kind of go through, you'll be able to identify if you're actually in the vessel or below it. Uh, 
Other things to note, so that's artery and vessels, uh, sorry, arteries and veins. Another thing we need to identify is bone. And where is the bone? Well, bone is very dense. And what you should see, you'll see this line here, that's your radial bone. There's actually nothing below it. And if we continue along and rotate your wrist to be on the outer edge, you can see that, yeah, there's your radial bone. It goes all the way around. Okay? So we've identified an artery, a vein, a bone. Now we need to identify muscle and how you can, or t tissue. The way you can do that is move your fingers and you can see the muscle moving. Interesting to note is that there is a definitive line right along here where your vessels will always be above because you won't be, you won't be looking for vessels within the um, muscle and that's the fascia which covers the muscle so that's how you'll be able to truly identify it. That essentially sums up an overview of anatomical view through the ultrasound.